Good morning, AMUMC. Uh, today is Thursday, March 26th, and I am looking forward to being in prayer with you this morning. Okay, real quick, our readings today for Thursday, March 26th, our morning reading in Psalm. We're going to read Psalm 27 together. Exodus is our Old Testament reading. You can see our New Testament reading is 1 Corinthians. Our gospel reading today will be from Mark chapter 8, verses 27 through chapter 9, verse 1. So let's get this started. As we enter into this sacred space of prayer, let us exhale all our fears and our concerns. Let us inhale our Father's peace. Our opening verse, but the hour is coming and now is when the true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth, for such the Father seeks to worship him. Amen. Let us take a moment of silence to confess our sins and acknowledge our need for God's grace and forgiveness. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed. By what we have done and by what we have left undone, we have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins through Jesus Christ, our Lord, and strengthen us to live in the power of the Holy Spirit all of our days. Amen. Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the book of Psalms, Psalm 27. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is my stronghold, the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When evil men advance against me to devour my flesh, when my enemies and my foes attack me, they will stumble and fall. Though the army besiege me, my heart will not fear. Though war break out against me, even then I will be confident. One thing I ask of the Lord, this is what I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all of my days, to gaze upon the beauty of the Lord and to seek him in his temple. For in the day of trouble, he will keep me safe in his dwelling. He will hide me in the shelter of his tabernacle and he will set me high upon the rock. Then my head will be exalted above the enemies who surround me, and his tabernacle will sacrifice with shouts of joy. I will sing and make music to the Lord. Hear my voice when I call, O Lord. Be merciful to me and answer me. My heart says of you, seek his face. Your face, Lord, I will seek. Do not hide your face from me. Do not turn your servant away in anger. You have been my helper. Do not reject me or forsake me, O oh God, my Savior. Though my father and mother forsake me, the Lord will receive me. Teach me your way, O oh Lord. Lead me in straight path because of my oppressors. Do not turn me over to the desire of my foes, for my witness will rise up against me, breathing out violence. I am still confident of this. I will seek the goodness of the Lord. And in the land of the living, wait for the Lord. Be strong and take heart and wait for the Lord. Amen. As I read today's gospel reading from the book of Mark, I want you to close your eyes and I want you to picture yourself there with Jesus. See what he is speaking to your heart today. Chapter 8, verse 27. Jesus and his disciples went on to the village around Caesarea Philippi. On the way, he asked them, 
Who do people say I am? They replied, Some say John the Baptist, others say Elijah, and still others, one of the prophets. But what about you? He asked. Who do you say I am? Peter answered, You are the Christ. Jesus warned them not to tell anyone about him. Verse 31, Jesus begins to predict his death for the first time. Verse 31, when he began to teach them that the Son of Man must suffer many things and be rejected by the elders, chief priests, and teachers of the law, and that he must be killed and after three days rise again, he spoke plainly about this. And Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him. But when Jesus turned and looked at his disciples, he rebuked Peter. Get behind me, Satan, he said. You do not have in mind the things of God, but the things of man. Then he called the crowd to him along with his disciples and said, If anyone would come after me, he must deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whoever wants to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for me and for the gospel will save it. What good is it for a man to gain the whole world, yet forfeit his soul? Or what can a man give in exchange for his soul? If anyone is ashamed of me and my words in this adulterous and sinful generation, the Son of Man will be ashamed of him. And when he comes in his father's glory with his holy angels, and he said to them, I tell you the truth, some who are standing here will not taste death before they see the kingdom of God come with power. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. As we respond to today's readings, let us affirm our faith by reciting the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he arose again, and he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. As we continue our prayer, let us pray the prayer our Father taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. As we listen to this prayer of intercession, close your eyes and use it to focus. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep your nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice, justice and truth. Let your way be known upon the earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us a clean heart, O God and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Now together we will take a moment of silence to lift up to the Lord our prayers, our petitions, our intercessions, and our thanksgivings. Lord God Almighty, Everlasting Father, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power, that we may not fall into sin, nor be overcome by adversity. In all we do, direct us to the filling of your purpose through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Now, as we go and enter into this day, 
May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen.